One day last summer, I went out to get carrots and I pulled one up and all that was there was the top. And I knew that we had bowls. Jamie came in from the garden the other day and she said, all of our vegetable beds are riddled with voles. And I said, honey, what's a vole? Here we go, vole. In cards, the winning by one player of all the tricks of a deal. No, it's probably this other one. Vole, any of several small mouse-like or rat-like rodents of the genus Microtus, short for vole mouse, field mouse. Moles make mounds, but voles make holes and they eat your vegetables. These were all deep holes that go underneath this whole thing. They've got, come in here, they've come in here. And this was our parsnips that we did not get one parsnip this year out of because the voles ate them all before I could get them. They ate carrots and they ate uh, parsnips. They didn't eat beets. They ate potatoes. They take bites out of the apples that have fallen on the ground. Basically, the voles are eating better than our family. Also, they're tunneling would really disrupt the roots, and so I had whole vines of peas that would die. Something's eating your vegetables, you don't have a garden. We found two methods for dealing with voles, which are absolutely guaranteed not to work. The first one is this high-tech solar-powered rodent repeller, which lets off a tone every 30 seconds. For all we know, it's a like a dinner bell for voles because this potato bed where we have it is just riddled with holes. The other thing that is absolutely guaranteed not to work is this dog who will sniff at voles, but he will not eat them. Our neighbors have dogs that will snap up field mice like they're eating Doritos. It pains me to uh, do this but we have to dig up all of the dirt from these beds that we did. We have purchased this hardware cloth. It has really tiny little uh, holes that no vole would get through. In order to put the hardware cloth down, we have to dig all the dirt. My lovely dirt is hailing. <laughs> That's good. That's good. It's spring. <laughs> all the dirt has to go over in that uh, tarp. So we can line it with this hardware cloth, and that's our job today. We emptied the dirt out of the bed and piled it on a tarp to keep it off the rocks. And then we cut the screen material a little bit bigger than the inside of the box and uh, tacked it into place using roofing nails, which are just the right size. The head does not pull through the mesh. We finished putting in the screens for this bed. We mixed in the dirt and everything has been planted. So the next few months will tell if this will keep out the voles.